Hi guys, I'm Ellie and this is the Tech Tricks channel. Previously, I showed you how to create a drop-down list in single column in Google Sheets and Excel. But today, let's take a look on how to create a dependent drop-down list in multiple columns that wants to make a selection in the drop-down menu. The next drop-down only shows relevant options based on the first selection. Okay, let's create this practical drop-down with functions and formulas in Google Sheets. Here I have different classes and each has different students with their scores. I want the drop-down list to pick the class name in the first column. Then in the next column, generate another drop-down list that filters the students' names based on the first column. And after that, automatically brings the score and the status of fail or pass. Okay, let's do it. I need a drop-down list for the classes' names in the first column. And I have the list of courses here in sheet 2. So I select the cell and on the insert tab, I choose drop down. This panel will open on the right side. Okay, I want to apply the drop down list on the first column. So I select it. For criteria, there are drop down and drop down from a range. If I choose drop down, as you can see, I should type each value. But if I choose drop down from a range, I can select the range. So I choose the range of items. Now I can pick the color for the values and make them more attractive. Then I go ahead and reject input, then click on done. Alright, the first drop down is created. Now it's time for the dependent drop down list, which I want to make in column 2. First, I need to do some preparation on the primary data in a separate set. I must prepare the data set for drop downs, so let's type the function. I start with the index function, so equal sign index. Now, the first parameter that is needed is reference, which is the student's name, and I fix it with the dollar sign F4. Then match function. Now the search key is required, which is the first drop down list. The range is the class items. I fix it with the dollar sign and zero. Now I finish the formula by closing the open parentheses. Okay, the first row is created, and now I fill it down. Control Shift down. And Control D. As you can see, this error will appear. So that I will add the if error function. The value is a function. And the value if error leaves the cell empty. Now close parentheses. Okay, the data is now prepared. All right, let's create a dependent drop down list. I select the cell, then on the insert tab, drop down list. For criteria, I choose drop down from the range and I select the first row for the range. And reject the input and done. As you can see, if I change the first column items, 
The dependent list doesn't change. The key point is here. I should delete the dollar signs, which will fix the sense. Now I copy the drop down list for the other cells. Let's check it. Okay, as you can see, when I change the first cell item, the dependent list will update based on it. Alright, the drop down lists are doing well. I have the list of scores for each student's name. I want when I choose the name here, the score appears automatically. It is a simple VLOOKUP function. So VLOOKUP, search key is the student name. The range is all these cells, which I fixed it with the dollar sign. And the index is column 2, so I type 2. Now enter. As you can see, the value of the mark is automatically returned. Now I fill the down cells. Again, I have an error for the empty cells, so I add the if error function. Again, I copy the formula for other cells. Let's check it. Alright, everything seems well. Now the last column is the status of fail in pass. It is a very simple if function. If the mark is more than 10, Show pass. If not, show fail. And at the end, I add conditional formatting. And the format tab, conditional formatting, custom formula. Now in this box, I type equal sign e2 equal sign fail in quotations make it yellow all right this sheet is ready to use okay my tutorial finished and you learn how to create a multiple dependent drop down list in google sheets with functions and formulas in future videos, I will show you how to create this drop-down list in Google Sheets with AppScript. For the next, check out this video that will help you to improve your skill in Google Sheets. If you like this tutorial, please hit the thumbs up and do subscribe in case you're not subscribed yet. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good time.